Hello, welcome to video 31 in the series here on the Minecraft FTW channel. It's Diz here, and I'm after coming across a problem. Look at this. As the ores are getting smelted, kind of my own fault, uh, the ingots are ending up in the next valid inventory space, which never used to happen before, but, you know, I'm about to fix that, hopefully. <laughs> um, I'm not too sure if I need a junction pipe here, but I'm gonna put one there anyway, so off that goes. There's that one. Take that one down. Take that one down. And then we'll just run some pipes from here. Here. Hmm. It's getting a bit messy back here, but don't think I really have an option here, so I'm not too sure. Let's have a look because these might connect when I don't want them to, or where I don't want them to. So that looks good enough for me. Seems to be working. Everything's green as it should be, and now we should not get any ingots ending up where they shouldn't. Hopefully. And that does appear to be the case. Uh, I needed to put a junction there because, well, it's a junction. <laughs> uh, there's the pipe coming down and into these ones here, and then also this pipe coming off the back, so... Uh, anywhere you have a junction in your system, your logistics network, you need to have a basic logistics pipe. So, there you go. Little FYI and all that kind of stuff. Mm, I'm not crazy about this. I'm kind of a bit OCD like that. Um, let's have a look from the front. Back out our ghost bricks. You have to love those ghost bricks, seriously. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, uh, not digging it. Uh, maybe I'll run them out this way and in there or something. Mm, I don't know. Ah, uh, we'll leave it like that for now. Maybe I'll make up some facades or something and put them up there. That's probably a good call. But for now, let's get on with the video. Welcome to episode 31. I've been busy. Uh, let me just show you out here very quickly. I made a craft packet stamper. Why did I make a craft packet stamper, you're asking? Good question. I needed to get some diamond shards. But why do you need some diamond shards, I hear you asking. Okay, maybe I don't, you know. But <laughs> it's to get myself a, a wraith lamp. And I'm in the process as well of making some overclockers for the machines up there. But um, I want to get myself a wraith igniter to make some dark iron to get the right lamp because I'm kind of a little bit meh about those. They they kind of normally do me in a small kind of a uh, nearly 9x9 nine nine setup or something like that but uh, for here, for now, uh, nah, not digging it. I want another one up there too so. Wraith lamps uh, or wrath lamps I should say light up a huge area so if I can get rid of them, I will. Um, for right now, all I need is one of these bricks, please. Thank you very much. And put that there, and that there, and we get a Wraith Igniter, or Wrath Igniter. Why do I keep saying Wraith? Uh, the reason this is out here all by itself is uh, it's kind of a little bit of a dangerous process making these um, diamond shards. Uh, I didn't make the actual craft packet maker. A uh, couple of reasons for that. Mainly you can make the recipe um, for the actual shards just in a regular crafting bench. That's what I did. You just need some TNT, um, obsidian and a diamond block. So that's the reason behind that. And I'm going to put away 
the rest of that. Quite low, actually. That's the only gunpowder I have, so I need to probably pay a visit to my age. Pick some of that stuff up. Um, oh, I was over here for a reason as well, because I want to grab... Hmm... I'll go with four blocks of iron for now because wait you see this in action this stuff is awesome click and that is actually burning the metal don't want to get too close and you don't want too many flammable items around it that's for sure but once that's finished burning, if I was doing that outside now or something, you'll see all around the ground here will actually catch on fire. And there we go. Look at that bad boy. Look at that. See? Fire! Quick! Panic! <laughs> Done. And now I can pick back up the blocks. <coughs> Excuse me. Bring it over to a crafting table, if I put a block up there, I'll get the ingots. And the ingots are exactly what I need to make wrath lamp. So, we need one, two, three, four, coincidentally, the igniter itself, which I think you get back, and some silver. That's not too bad, we can manage that, right? Why is there only three blocks there with dark iron? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, ignore me. It's a derpy kind of day. So that's what I wanted to do. Uh let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Silver silver silver. Uh what was it? Two pieces each? Yeah, so I'll need six. With those please, thank you very much. And it's probably in here. I know I have some somewhere. Or not, as the case may be. I don't oh yeah, okay, weird. Let's take a few of those. Whoops. Run over here. Oops. Okay, fail. And that will get us 16 of those, which is more than enough. So, that should be all of the ingredients we have in place. Uh, let's look at the recipe and shift click. Booyah! Do it again. Well, I'll put this back in my inventory. Shift click. Booyah! One more. Let's try it with it on the table. No, it doesn't work. Didn't think so. Boo! Shift click. Three. And you can see as you use it, it actually uh, takes a hit on the damage end. So, doesn't last that long. Okay, let's get rid of this. Darkness. Pop this bad boy back up. And that should light up a huge area. There we go. So let's get rid of all these stupid, ridiculous torches. Now that we're welded up, probably need some in the corners. Probably, maybe. Don't know. I'll have to do the F7 trick again just to be sure. F7. And it looks like we're good to go. And that's just with one rate lamp down. So you can see it covers quite an extensive area. Let's get rid of this one. This one. Get rid of all these. Because, you know, handy and all as they are for lighting up an area, you can't beat a wrath lamp for coverage. Look at this. Craziness. Okay, so I'm just going to place these other two lamps down. I don't think you really need to see me do that, but, you know. Oh. Darkness. <gasps> but I'm pretty sure when I get rid of this. And actually, let's go around and take up a few torches before we place the wrath lamp down and see just how dark it gets. 
Oh yeah, we're getting there now. Experimenting for science! <laughs> Where's that light? Okay. Did I pick up that last one? Probably fell in there, but oh well. This area is still remarkably well lit for some reason. I'm not getting where that's coming from. I don't think it's that other wrath lamp. But it's probably this in behind. I don't know. Let's go in and investigate. Hmm. Probably want to leave one or two in here, but you know, just for now. See? That's okay. That's okay. Mm, thought so. Oh well. So it's probably those that are keeping that area lit there. The chests tend to let the light through for whatever reason, so... Mm, about... Here, maybe? Update that area. Oh yeah! Awesome! Two lamps down. I'll probably want to make one more, but you know, you get the idea. Okay, enough waffling, enough babbling. Uh, I'm also in the process of updating the uh, logistics pipe network here. I'm going to get some on top of the barrels to save some of the common resources. You know, when I want them. It's kind of handy to have them there so that's also something I'll be doing in this video uh, I've solved the problem of items hopping out uh, up above there I put in an item sync card and set it as the default route so anything I put in the chest it doesn't know where to go uh, you know like there's nothing in here for example like the apple uh, it will end up back up in the chest there, meaning, hello, look at me, pay attention to me, I don't know where I should be going, so I'm just going to sit here, until you tell me where to go, so, yeah. Okay, give me a few minutes, I'll be right back. Okay, this will be a good test here, just about to place the last of the wraith lamps, wrath lamps, whatever. Yeah, I know I can't say it, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I think this will be a good test. Let's have a look. So, we can see there's quite a huge area there that's not currently lit. Uh, red everywhere, so I think I'll put it right there. Update, please. Oh, okay. There's one. Count that one. Block that it missed. Apart from over here, but I kind of expected that because it's under shelter, so... I'm not going to complain about that too much. I just saved myself, I don't know, 60 squillion torches or something. However many was around there, but yeah. Anyway, back in a sec. So, as part of our logistics network extension program... Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> we're going to need uh, some automatic crafting tables. Um, you can see here I just have a bunch of uh, wooden gears laid out um, because a automatic crafting bench is made with just a regular crafting bench surrounded by four gears just like that and this will come in handy for our Oh, I ran out of wood. I thought I measured that out, but okay, guess not. Fail. Oh, I know what it was. It was needed in that recipe, yeah. Um, ooh, excuse me. Burpy burps. Um, windy pops and all that. <laughs> I'm going to start over here. Somewhere. Looks good to me. Uh, I really want that last one, so yeah, give me some wood. And I used up all the freaking wood. Great! Okay, I'm gonna spend the night, sleep through the night, 
get something to eat and say I'm getting hungry and get some wood and then I'll be back. Like this video if you want to be able to rev the chainsaw like a real chainsaw instead of it humming away in the background. Lulz. And for Lexicon Lightning. Okay, and I'm back. Yay! OCD. Minecraft OCD, yeah. So, I need some food. Gimme, give gimme. Give oh, I've already got some, okay. Now we do. Um, nom, 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 nom. Um, nom, nom. Yeah. Now, we need to make up some more pipes to go from there over to here. And we need to make some crafting pipes. So, I will need one, two, three, basic logistics pipes, and a few other odds and ends. But, sadly for you, it's that time already. Yep. End of video time. Already. So, thanks for watching, guys. In the next one, we'll pick it up from where I left off, basically. So, yeah. Stay tuned for the next one.